morning students welcome to online teaching session of academic world school bemitra i hope you are enjoying the uh, videos which we have uh, previously uploaded today we are going to start with a new topic of class 8 chapter 2 linear equation of one variable so in this chapter we are going to study introduction of algebraic expression and linear equation solution of equation and application of equation so first today i will discuss about algebraic expression so in our in our previous class we have studied algebraic expression as well as linear equation also okay so in algebraic expression we studied that it's a combination of it is a combination of combination of variables and constants with the help of with the help of mathematical operation mathematical operations now we know that there are four types of mathematical operations addition subtraction multiplication and division so when variables and constants are combined with the help of mathematical operations and what we get in the result that is called algebraic expressions right for example 2x plus 3 y upon 7 minus 5 okay 2x square plus 3x y plus 4z right these all are the examples of algebraic expressions now if you see that linear equation equation means equality okay so if an algebraic expression is equation when there is sign of equality with the expression okay remember that. algebraic expression will be linear uh, sorry algebraic expression will be an equation when there is a sign of equality but look at this all there is no sign of equality right if we put here so this will become an equation this will also become an equation right so in an equation you will see two sides one is left hand side another is right hand side okay now we have studied that there are different types of algebraic expressions we categorize algebraic expressions on the basis of their terms and on the basis of degree a important thing important thing i am telling you degree so what is degree degree is the highest power of an algebraic expression in an algebraic expression whatever is the highest power that is called the degree of an algebraic expression for example 2x square 2x square plus x to the power 4 plus 5x plus 3 so look at this algebraic expression now what is the highest power here 4 okay so highest power is here 4 so degree of this algebraic expression is 4 right so on the basis of degree you will see different types of algebraic expression if degree is 1 it is called linear algebraic expression linear algebraic expression if it is 2 if the degree is if degree is Two, it is called quadratic 
algebraic expression if degree is 3 degree is 3 it is called cubic algebraic expression right if degree is 1 then it is called linear algebraic expression if degree is 2 it is called quadratic algebraic expression if degree is 3 it is called cubic algebraic expression right so the degree decides that what kind of the algebraic expression will be right so if we talk this in the view of linear uh, in the view of equation okay since uh, if algebraic expression has equality sign then it becomes equation right so if an equation has degree 1 if an equation has degree 1 then it is called linear equation right if an equation has if an equation if an equation has degree 1 then it is called linear equation linear equation means such equation such equation which degree is which degree is 1 remember that and what is the degree degree is the highest power in the algebraic expression Okay, or you can say the highest power in the equation. Right. So, we are specifically going to talk about linear equation of one variable. Such equation which has only one variable. Right. So, linear equation of one variable means linear equation of one variable means such equation which degree is 1 and it has only one only one variable right such an equation which has degree 1 which degree is 1 and it has only one variable such equation is called linear equation of one variable right so i hope you have understood what is the meaning of linear equation of one variable right so now we have studied that how to find solution of such equations okay how to find solution of such equation in our previous classes we have studied uh, two methods say three methods one is the trial error method one is the balancing method one is the transposing method right so before we talk about the method i'll i'll, I'll categorize the different types of equation we will come across the first type of equation we will come across is such equation in which the variable is at one side and the constant is at another side. Variable one side and constant at another side. Okay? This is, see, this is not a category, just to make you understand properly and just categorizing okay and just categorizing the different types of equation we come across okay so in this the first case is in which the variable uh, term will be one side okay we say that the linear expression will be at one side and the number will be at other side okay the linear expression will be at one side and the number will be at another side for example for example to 
2x plus 3 equal to 5. 2x plus 3 equal to 5. Okay. So we are going to solve this equation using two methods. The first method is by balancing and the second method is by transposing. Transposing. Right. In balancing, you know the balance means means both the side will try to keep equal in every state and in transposing we will change the we will bring the same type of values together means the all variables will be one side and all constant will be one side right so that is the transposing so first i will talk about balancing with the help of balancing method how we are going to solve a linear equation of one variable Okay, now see that. Let's take first. Here we are going to use one important concept. Remember, we are going to use one important concept which we have learned in our previous chapter. Okay, which is called additive in additive inverse. Okay, so what does the additive inverse say? That what should be added in a number to get zero? Okay, in balancing, so we will try to remove one one balance, okay, from each side. So, first we have to cancel the 3 from the left side. So, how we cancel the 3? It's a very obvious. If we make the 3 0, then it will get cancelled. And how we can make 3 0? So, whatever we do in the left side, the same operation we have to do at right side also. Remember that. Whatever the operation we will do in left side, the same operation we will be doing at right side also. Okay. So, if suppose if you are adding some number in left side, we have to add the same number in the right side. If you are subtracting some value in the left side, we have to subtract same value in the left right side. If you are multiplying, some value in the right left side so we have to multiply the same value in the right side if we are dividing some value in the left side we have to divide the same value in the right side okay so we have to make this 3 0 so now see that 3 is plus and how a positive number will become negative 0 you know it's a very clear that we have to subtract the same value okay but sign should be different okay so we are means we are subtracting the same value so whatever we subtracted in the left side same value we have to subtract in the right side okay now so 3 minus 3 will become 0 here we subtract 5 minus 3 will be 2. Okay? 5 minus 3 will be plus 2. Now, again, we need to remove this 2 from the left side. So, what we can do? How will we remove this 2? So, for this, we are going to divide the left side by 2. If we divide, see that? If we divide left side by 2, the 2 will be cancelled. So, if you divide left side by 2, so, so we have to divide the right side also. So, let us divide 2x divided by 2. And so, 2 divided by 2. This 2 and this 2 will cancel. And if you divide this 2, we will get 1. So, x equal to 1. So, this x equal to 1 is called solution of this equation. Because if we put 1, if we put 1 in this equation, it will balance, we will get the both the sides equal. Left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. We can check it. We can check this one, okay? So let us check this one whether our solution is right or not. So if we take left hand side, which is 2x plus 3, 
okay this is the we are checking whether our solution has come right or not so if we take left hand side here left hand side is 2x plus 3 so in place of x we have to put the value of x so here 2 into 1 plus 3 2 into 1 will be 2 plus 3 okay so 2 plus 3 is 5 and what is the right hand side right hand side is also 5 okay so left hand side and right hand side is both equal which means the solution of this equation is 1 so remember that the solution of, of an equation is such value which we put in the equation and we get left hand side and right hand side equal what is the solution of an equation solution of an equation is a value such a value a numerical value you can say okay a numerical value which we put in the left side or right side in the equation and we get both the sides equal okay so let us take one more example okay so this time i am going to take another example so suppose now i have an equation 2y plus 9 equal to 4 okay still we are going to use the balancing method only 2y plus 9 equal to 4 okay so what first thing what we will do we'll try to cancel out 9 so how we are going to cancel out 9 since 9 is plus which means we have to subtract 9 one simple thing i will tell you okay if here it is plus then you subtract both the side the same value if here it is minus you add same the value both the side okay you remember this one if here it is plus subtract the same value both side if here it is minus add the same value both the side okay so i am going to subtract here 9 both the side okay so here so 2y plus 9 minus 9 will become 0 and if we subtract 4 minus 9 4 minus 9 will be minus 5 okay we have to remember the how we subtract integers okay so from 9 we subtracted 4 we got 5 and since 9 is a greater number so we put the value sign of 9 which is minus now we have to remove, remove the 2 from the left side so how since here it is multiplied if we have to remove this one we have to divide by 2 both the sides so we divide both the sides by 2 okay so now to, to cancel since 2 cannot divide the 5 exactly so we leave it as it is so y equal to minus 5 by 2 so here the solution of this equation is minus 5 by 2 ok I hope you have understood this one so now let us move to the another example sorry let us move to the another method which is transposing method now in transposing method we transpose the values ok and we try to solve the equation ok now we are going to talk about transposing method ok this method only we are going to use in this exercise or in this chapter you say ok so it's 2x minus 3 equal to 7 ok so in transposing what we do first thing we have to go stepwise ok so we have to change the sides of the value ok in what way we put the values which have the same nature or same term. means variables will try to keep one side constant will try to keep another side ok so now one more thing one more important thing you have to remember when you change the sign of a value the sign also changes remember that when we change when we change sign of 
a value sine of that value also changes. Okay? This is very important, you need to remember. Means, if one value is on the left side positive, goes to a right side, it becomes negative. If one is negative in the left side, goes to right side, becomes positive. Okay, this is a sign change. And we can say along with the sign we change the operation also. Means one value is in division in our right, left side. If it goes to right side, it becomes multiplication. If it is in multiplication, if it goes to right side, it becomes division. Okay, so we change the operation. So here we first take the 3 because 3 and 7 both are same type of value means both are constants ok so we take the 3 right side so when we take the 3 right side so this 2x we keep as it is in the left side itself so set and loss now, now after the equal to we write this 7 now we bring the 3 here now see, remember that see that here 3 is negative and if it goes to right side it will become positive Okay, as I wrote here, that if we change the sign, sign also changes. A sign means that the operation of the value changes. Means if it is a subtraction this side goes to that side, it becomes addition. If it is addition this side goes to that side, becomes um, goes to that side becomes uh, subtraction. If it is multiplication this side goes to that side becomes division. If it is division this side goes to that side becomes multiplication ok so now 7 plus 3 is 10 now we bring need to bring the 2 to left right side ok now remember that this is 2 into x means 2 is multiplied with x so if you bring this 2 to right side if you bring this 2 to right side what will happen yes right it will divide the 10 just now I told if we change the sign, the operation also changes. A division becomes a multiplication becomes division, division becomes multiplication. Okay? So now x equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 5 is the solution of the, this equation. Okay. Now hope, I hope you have understood this one. Now let us take one more example here. 2y plus 9 equal to 4. Okay. So we are going to use this method, transposing method. So first we will take the 9 that side. Right side. So it will be since this is addition this side goes to that side, it becomes subtraction. Okay. Now if we subtract 4 and 9, it will be minus 5. Now bring the 2 this side. Or see remember that this side is multiplication so if it goes to that side it will be division right so it's y equal to minus 5 by 2 ok let us take one more example in which the values are in fraction ok I hope it is very clear for you all so we take here 3 by 7 plus 8 equal to 17 by 7 ok now see that this value and this value are of same time ok so this 3 by 7 we take to the right side ok this 3 by 7 will take to the right side so x will be equal to 17 by 7 so if this 3 by 7 we bring to the right side what will happen this side it is addition so if it goes to that side it will be subtraction right ok so x equal to now so 17 minus 3 we have taken the answer no I hope you know how to subtract fraction so we have used the same method here subtraction of fraction ok so 17 minus 3 will be 14 by 7 and if you divide 14 by 7 we will get 2 
right? So here the solution of this equation is <coughs> two. Okay. So this is how we use transposing method. Okay. So two method we studied. One is the balancing method, in which we try to balance both the side by adding or subtracting. Okay. And in transposing method, we transpose the value. Okay. What kind of value transpose? Those who are of same type. Okay. So here, two important things we need to remember. Okay. One is we have to transpose the transpose the value which are of same type. And when we transpose, what happens? The operation of that value changes. The addition becomes subtraction. If it goes to another side, the subtraction becomes addition. If it goes to another side. The multiplication becomes division if it goes to another side, and the division becomes multiplication if it goes to another side. This is very important. Okay, so you you will do this uh, all questions by yourself. Okay, now let us move to the another topic, which is the application of equation. Application means there will be word problems and. Those word problems we will try to solve with the help of equation. Okay, those word problems we will try to solve with the help of equation. So I take here one example. Okay, if sum of two, let us take one example. If sum of two number is seventy-four, sum of two. Numbers is seventy four. Okay. <clears throat> If one number is, if one number is ten more than other number, then find the find the Numbers, right? This is the this is one of the example for application of equation. Okay. <clears throat> so now, how we are going to solve this equation? So here, whatever the value we have to find, we have to assume as x, y, z means we have to assume any variable. Okay. So let us assume that let one number be let one number be x. Now see the condition here. Okay. With the help of the condition, we will try to form equation. Okay. So here it says one number is more than other. If one number is ten more than other number. Okay. So if we take one number x. So what will be the other number? Other number will be x plus ten. Okay, it's a very clear from the statement if you see. Okay, x plus ten. Now let us now see this. Now see this condition. The sum of these two numbers is seventy-four. Okay, so we add. So we write here according to question. X and x plus 10 equal to 74. So 2x plus 10 equal to 74. Now see that these two are same type of value, so we add it. Okay. So x 1x plus 1x 2x here plus 10, and then we wrote this one as it is. Now we will use the transposing method here to solve this one. Okay. So we bring this 10 to this side. So see that this side 10 is positive, so both that side. It will be subtracted from 74. Okay, so 2x this will be 64. Therefore, x will be equal to 64 by 2. Now, brought the 2 right side, so it will divide by 64 because this side 2 is 2 is multiplied with x, so x will be 32. Okay, so here one number is 32 and another number is 32 plus. Which is forty-two. 
Now, if you want to check the answer, you can see the condition. The sum of two number is 74. See, if you add 32 and 42, you get 74, right? And another condition, let us verify. So, one number is 10 more than the other number. So, here one number is 32, another is 42. So, this 42 is 10 more than 32. So, you do, we will uh, use this method, okay, to solve the application types means word problems, okay. So, we will talk next, in our next class, okay. So, the assignment related to this topic is uploaded on the ERP, okay. So, you do it and uh, send your queries through the ERP. Thank you.